Hey, what's going on guys? 99 here bringing you a Pick'em video and today I'm going to be choosing the group stage of Boston 2018. Really excited and before we get into it I want to address my Pick'em prelim choices because I did show them off on YouTube even though it wasn't its own separate video. However, those decisions actually changed throughout the week and I figured I would touch on what I got right, what I got wrong and how I'm going to learn from my past mistakes. So as you can see here, I've already sold off a lot of the stickers that were once in place for the prelims. And as you can see here, it's quite a nice precursor for what my group stage picks are going to be. However, there are three major things I learned from these prelim matches. First things first, I slept on Cloud9. I am a Cloud9 fan and I didn't think they would go 3-0. And it was insane to see. I really, really slept on them. I also slept on Vega Squadron. I actually really like Vega Squadron. I just didn't think they would play well and they proved me wrong very very much so vega squadron is actually the reason i have a third thing to apologize for and that is phase clan is most definitely beatable and that is the third mistake i made going into this now you might say what about team envious that's technically a mistake not really because i didn't see that coming uh, i didn't see rpk getting sick and not playing as a factor i think if rpk wasn't sick they would have made it through they would have beat quantum bellator and beat whoever they played next and i mean overall these picks don't matter too heavily because they're only one point each however i am in the top one percent because of my choices and i'm feeling really hot really spicy also shout out to zach for just copying everything i did he's probably gonna do it again and you know what i don't mind anyways let's move on to the group stage choices as i said i'm gonna take those mistakes i made previously and apply them to the future meaning i'm not going to make the same mistakes and by that i'm going to start off with a huge huge pick cloud nine going zero and three and i'm going to explain my decisions right now first things first it should be said that i'm basing my decisions off the day one matches and what i think will happen after those obviously day two day three day four those matches are random so we don't know what's going to happen but my opinion on whether or not cloud nine will go three and zero is based off one major factor and that factor is whether or not they play phase clan because if you look here at all the teams that are available i think cloud nine in a best of one scenario will beat any of these teams except phase clan they start off against g2 that's going to be a win. It's like a 90% chance victory for Cloud9. However, moving into the second day, like I said, I think the only team that'll beat them is FaZe Clan. And the only way FaZe Clan will play Cloud9 is if they first off win their first game against Fnatic, which isn't an easy game to win. And if FaZe Clan does win the game against Fnatic and go 1-0, it's only a 1-7 chance that Cloud9 will play them. And then if FaZe Clan goes 2-0 and Cloud9 goes 2-0, it's a 1-3 chance that Cloud9 will play them. So I think the odds of Cloud9 getting FaZe Clan are very, very low. And some of you might call me ignorant for not thinking SK can beat Cloud9. On a normal day, SK can beat Cloud9, but in a best of one setting, Cloud9 has beaten SK before and they'll do it again. In a best of one setting, they'll beat teams like Astralis and Gambit. It's really, really a risky pick, I will admit. However, I'm going to go with that NA pride, that American pride, and just, you know, risk it. Contradictory, my 0-3 team is the exact opposite of NA pride, and that is just NA shame. A lot of people are saying Quantum Bellator is going to go 0-3, and, and I disagree with that heavily. Quantum Bellator plays Virtus Pro. Virtus Pro is a very touch-and-go team lately. They haven't been playing too well, and Quantum Bellator looks hot in the prelims. So I think there's a chance Quantum Bellator could beat Virtus Pro. I think there's no chance Quantum Bellator will get through, but I think there's a great chance they'll go 1-3 and three or even 2-3. and three. All right, 2-3 and three is maybe a bit of a stretch but you get the point <laughs> however unlike other teams here i think liquid has the biggest chance of going 0-3 because they looked really shaky in the prelims they didn't even technically qualify in the prelims they just got the ninth spot of these teams available they played the worst and their first match is against big and i think they will easily lose that and i think if big beats liquid anyone else can beat liquid therefore once again it is a risky pick because i am relying on big to beat liquid but if they do and in my opinion when they do liquid will fall their next two games and go 0 and 3. moving on to my remaining seven let's get the obvious ones out of the way sk really quickly buy this one up so let's throw them on the board obviously phase is another powerhouse that's gonna make it i did like what i saw from g2 in the prelims so i think they're gonna make it another powerhouse that is clearly obvious in my opinion is Astralis. They have device back. That's going to be exciting to watch them with their starting five. Cannot wait. I was actually considering Astralis as my 3-0 team, 
but I wasn't so sure because if Astralis plays Cloud9 in the best of one scenario, I think Cloud9 will win. However, moving on to these last three is where things get a little tricky. I think a safe bet is Fnatic. A lot of people are sleeping on Fnatic for this pick'em stage. <laughs> I watched a good amount of videos when doing my research for this to try to, you know, see what people were saying. And some people said Fnatic aren't going to make it. I disagree personally. Fnatic is a very consistent team, and I think they are consistent enough to make it to the playoffs, and I believe that they will make it to the playoffs, obviously. So that leaves us with two picks left and three obvious choices. Gambit, Virtus, and Vega. I think the first safe choice between the three is Gambit. They're a strong team. They won the last major. So obviously they kind of have that motivation and that drive to continue playing well. And for my last choice, it's really difficult. So in order to make my decision, I'm going back to those day one matchups because that's all I have to go off of right now. Virtus Pro plays Quantum Bellator. That's going to be a difficult game because Quantum's an X-Factor. They're a team that's new to the pro scene. They're a really difficult team to read and practice for. Therefore, Virtus Pro might lose. On the other side of the coin, Vega Squadron plays North, a team that I said before is struggling. And I think Vega Squadron will win that game. And therefore, since I think Vega Squadron's going to go 1-0 and and Virtus Pro could go 0-1, I'm just going to pick Vega off of gut feeling. Again, these picks could be wrong. I think my biggest mistakes could be Liquid at 0-3. Uh, it, it, it's really up to whether or not they lose to Big. I think Big is one of the easiest teams they could have played, which makes this pick very risky. However, I'm going to go with it. I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. Some people are going to call me out for picking Cloud9. I don't think this is a risky pick. Like I said, I think in a best-of-one scenario, they'll beat any team other than FaZe. So... I might as well go with them. I slept on them in the prelims. I'm not going to sleep on them now. And I know it's a different tier of teams they're going to be playing against, but I'm still confident. And finally, I think my last pick is really, really questionable. I'm not sure. Will it be Virtus? Will it be Vega? Maybe Space Soldiers will go through, even though I doubt that. I don't know. I really, I don't know. However, for now, these are my picks. I don't plan on changing them like I did in the prelim stage, and I apologize for that. But like I said, if you want to copy me for the group stage, these will not be changing. These are my official picks. And I just hope I get seven out of nine of them correct like I did in the prelims. That's what my goal is, is seven out of nine. If I get eight out of nine, I'd be ecstatic, but I doubt that. It's so luck-based with the Swiss uh, tournament. I, I don't know sometimes. I really don't know. However, that's all for now. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, have a nice day. I will try to as well. And peace.